Hi family, checking in. I'm um, getting ready to go in for my post-op appointment, which is exciting because um, I am getting my drain tube removed. Um, it's really weird, actually. Um, like, you know how with having two tubes hanging out of your gut? It just really isn't as much fun as it sounds. Huh. Who thought? So I'm excited to get one of them removed. This one's long and heavy and just incredibly uncomfortable. Well, I mean, it, it hurts kind of like when I first got the G-tube um, placed. Anyway, I'm tired. I'm struggling today. Today is not one of my better days. My, my stomach is just acting up. And anyway, so I'm struggling a little bit. But getting drain tube removed and that's good and the lord is good and i you know i just goodness i just been taken over with my love for him this morning and just like brought to tears really um i was listening to oh goodness like i said i'm not doing well today if those who watch me for a while know my brain does not function well when my body doesn't function well um, yeah, I was listening to a worship music this morning, and I can't think of the song, but anyway, and I was just, I, I believe it was How Great Thou Art, Our, How Great Thou Art, yes, that's what it was, and I just brought to tears, because we have such a beautiful, amazing father, he's so, so good, he his love for us and his plan for us is just beautiful. And I just, it makes me so sad when I think of all the people who misjudge him, who misrepresent him. First off, the people who misrepresent him, who know, who don't know him, but they speak like they do sometimes, or they're just, I don't know why they do it. I don't, I don't understand it, but... The people out there misrepresenting who he is, and maybe they're deceived. But, and then there's the people who have just had him misrepresented it to him, their, them their whole lives, and they're full of hatred and anger for things that they think he represents that he doesn't. And they don't understand his ways, and their just hearts have hardened because of misinformation. And it just, it just really makes me sad because the truth is, is that we have a really great God and he is all love and all goodness. And anyone who doesn't understand that and understand what it means to be one of his and the blessing that that even is, I just, I pray for it because it's, it's so sad. And I used to be one of those. There was a time when I was really angry with him because I didn't I didn't understand him. He'd been misrepresented to me. And luckily, he put a spark and fire in my heart that just called me to him and I couldn't pull away. Um made me thirsty for his word and get and drinking his word every day. And just um I just want to pray really, guys, for the people out there right now who who don't know him, and some some of them are our family. I have family. In fact, I'm pretty much the only one in my family. There might be one other, but I'm not really sure because, you know, fruits and all. Um, but I don't. I just I don't want to. I just want to pray for them. They're, it's for we're talking about our family. We're talking about people, strangers, lost, broken, broken people. So let's just pray. Heavenly Father, I just, I want to thank you for being good to me and showing me who you are, Lord, and guiding me to your love and just to your goodness. And just to all you are is love and mercy and grace, Lord. And yeah, you have to put people in their place, but Lord, that's not, that's not what you want to do. I hate that they give you no choice. I hate that they don't listen to your warnings, Lord. 
I hate that we're warning them and warning them and they just think you're a joke or that you're not that serious or that you that we're speaking wrong because if God is love, he wouldn't punish. But that's not true. Or anyone who's ever had a child and had to punish them, you didn't quit loving that child when they had to punish them. And I know these things. I've had to get my spiritual spankings from you, Lord. I have, and I needed them, and I want them always. I don't ever want to do this world my way. Lord, you are my everything, my absolute everything. And you're just so much healing and love and light. I just want everybody to have that healing, Lord. People are broken and they're sad, and they don't under really understand who you are. So, Lord, I just want to be the beacon that shows them who you are and just just tell them lord even if they don't want to hear it even if i have to get up in their face a little lord i would want them to know that you love them lord and that you're not bad you're good everything about you is good and their ways are following satan and are wrong and they're just so confused and they think that they have to be more accepting to bring more love and happiness into the world but lord the overcoming sin that's what really brings us happiness and joy and i just want to help them overcome their sin lord i love you and i just i just want to say this in the name of jesus christ amen okay guys i'm sorry i i, I love you guys i love you so much and i'll see you in the next one or in the clouds